I'd like to show you um, a new technology. Uh, but uh, it's not a new technolo uh, technology at all. Uh, you can see uh, one D barcode on any product. Uh, if you go to a supermarket, you can see uh, the barcodes uh, anywhere. And there is a scanner to uh, read the barcode. And recently, the 2D barcode uh, technology was developed because uh, people wanted to uh, put more information on the barcode. And then uh, uh, the 2D barcode can uh, play a, a very important role in this information society. I talk uh, more about this after as in, in due course. And uh, as Professor Shamog Lee uh, said, uh, phonetics, uh, phonetic training is very important to uh, teach uh, pronunciation um, uh, for teachers and also for learners. It's very important to uh, to learn correct pronunciation. So we have uh, ear training and pronunciation training, and um, for. Uh, a, a very good quality um, uh, phonetic training, we need a good teacher. So if uh, the teacher is Daniel Jones, he should be fantastic. Or, well, uh, A.C. Gimson, or very, very, very nice. Or J.C. Wells, or Professor Ifan Mugli here. <laughs> Well, uh, it's very important to have a good teacher uh, to, to um, acquire a good uh, pronunciation of a foreign language. And we need a good textbook, like the An Outline of English Phonetics by Daniel Jones, or Gibson's Pronunciation of English. And uh, my favorite textbook for my uh, undergraduate uh, students is Better Pronunciation, a uh, Better English Pronunciation by uh, Professor O'Connor, and also English Intonation by John Wells. And we need audiovisual materials for self study. So, uh, well, uh, we learn pronunciation in this in a classroom like this, but uh, it's not enough. We need to practice pronunciation at home, or uh, on the bus, or even uh, in a tube. So uh, the audio individual materials are very important. So uh, the old-fashioned medium is the cassette tape. So we used to, we've been using this uh, cassette tape for a long time, but it's uh, losing its popularity because of the CD, CD and DVD. So uh, we can put a lot of information on a CD or on a DVD. Uh, we can even put uh, video clips in the uh, CD. And we can click any uh, sound file we want to hear. So uh, it's a very, uh, very useful tool. Uh, in learning uh, a foreign language. And also, a videotape is also used uh, to, for language learning. But um, uh, the uh, videotape tape is not so uh, popular. Uh, I saw just one videotape uh, where uh, the English pronunciation was taught, but uh, it was a bit boring, so I think I prefer the CD uh, to the videotape. Uh, if we learn uh, the pronunciation of a foreign language only with a book, we have uh, advantages and disadvantages. The book is very familiar. We always carry uh, books with, with, uh, in, a, uh, in a case. Uh, uh, the book has been with us. Uh, for life, probably uh, we'll uh, spend the whole life uh, with some books. And it's handy, you can carry a book anywhere in the world. It's not very heavy unless the book is too, too thick. But uh, there are disadvantages. So uh, the book offers 
only written uh, instructions. So uh, the book doesn't say uh, how to pronounce, uh, um, does uh, give you the sounds uh, that you want to hear. Um, learning with a cassette tape uh, has also uh, advantages and disadvantages. We can listen to sounds uh, with a cassette tape, but there are uh, disadvantages. We need a cassette player. It's uh, more expensive. And, uh, well, um, uh, the Sony uh, developed a, a, a Walkman uh, cassette player. It has been a, a kind of revolution. Uh, so uh, most Korean youngsters admire to buy, buy one. Um, I also did so. Uh, but a cassette player is very difficult to uh, difficult for, for for the users to search a specific utterance that uh, they want to hear. It's a, um, a, a very serious pro problem. And also, uh, the cassette tape is not so durable, so uh, it, the tape might be uh, loosened. Uh, in a short period of time, there are some other problems, and we still need a book. We, um, without a, uh, the textbook, the, uh, the cassette tape is not so helpful. So we need both a book and a cassette player and a cassette tape uh, inside the cassette player. Learning uh, with a CD has also advantages and disadvantages. So the sounds are provided, and we can easily search a specific sound file. And we don't have to bring a book, because uh, we can uh, put the, uh, the texts uh, inside a CD-ROM. But uh, there is a serious uh, disadvantage. We need a computer, whether it is a PC or a laptop computer. Or uh, these days, pe people might be uh, interested in developing a textbook uh, that we can read on a PDA, but uh, the PDA is not a very effective means. So um, we need a, a new technology uh, for more handy, familiar, and a very um, uh, effective uh, pronunciation teaching. So uh, we have uh, one D barcode. This this one is very prevalent. You can see this barcode anywhere. Uh, uh, if you go to a supermarket, you can see the barcode very easily. And if you have a uh, have a new book, then you can see a, a barcode on the uh, on the cover of the book. And this is the two uh, D barcode. So it's, it looks a bit different from uh, the 1D barcode. And we can put a lot of information on the 2D, 2D barcode. And um, we need a 2D scanner uh, to read uh, the 2D barcode. Probably um, you, you have uh, seen this kind of uh, scanner. It, you can read the barcodes. But uh, with, this, uh, with this scanner, uh, it's difficult to, uh, for a, a student to buy, buy one and use it uh, uh, for pron pronunciation learning every time. It's too big and not so uh, beautiful. So I've got a new, um, new scanner. It's a 2D barcode scanner. It's, um, it looks better than this one. And uh, you should be uh, should become smaller. And uh, uh, this, uh, this barcode scanner has uh, doesn't have a uh, MP3 player in it, but we can install a MP3 player in this uh, in this scanner. Then, if we um, uh, we can. Uh, 
uh, link a barcode, barcode uh, to a sound file in a computer, and we can uh, put it in a book. And then, if we uh, put a scanner on on the barcode, then uh, the barcode uh, reads the uh, the name of the sound file and automatically uh, links to the uh, sound file in the computer. And if you install a um, an MP3 player in the scanner, then uh, you can store all the um, sound files in the um, memory stick, uh, memory card inside the uh, MP3 player. Then you can listen to any sound file. So uh, we are uh, designing a new uh, teaching medium. Um, um, I introduce you uh, a young uh, businessman, um, probably three or four years ago uh, in Guanghamun, when we had uh, Sangetang. Do, do you remember the young uh, businessman? Yes, uh, his company is developing uh, this um, technology, and I'm giving giving the giving them some advice. So uh, we need a book uh, with 2D barcodes. So we put um, normally uh, uh, if you uh, have a look at uh, uh, this sheet of paper. And uh, in the past, we uh, put a put a speaker or a tape a symbol uh, to uh, to to show that. Uh, a, a sound file is linked to a certain uh, uh, word or a uh, sentence. But instead of the speaker, we, we can put a, a 2D barcode on it. And then we need a 2D scanner with an MP3 player function. So it's not difficult to put an MP3 player in, inside a, a scanner. Um, the problem is that how we can uh, make it as compact as possible and how uh, we can make it uh, very beautiful so that uh, students um, have get uh, strong motiv uh, uh, motivation to buy uh, this barcode. So um, this new teaching medium has advantages. Audiovisual audio materials are easily accessible. So if we uh, put the scanner on a barcode, then we can listen to the sounds. And very familiar, we can uh, go around with a book and a um, scanner like this, where we can put it on the neck and then uh, with earphones we can listen to the sounds so it's very familiar to us so everybody youngsters are very um, um, accustomed to mp3 players already so they can uh, bring their um, mp3 player uh, with them anywhere they go and we, uh, they need a book it's very handy so um, the scanner with an mp3 player can be smaller than this, maybe a, a bit wider than this. And uh, with a book, then uh, it is not heavy or it is not bulky. And a computer is not necessary. So uh, if you want to uh, use a CD-ROM, then you have to use a computer but uh, you don't have to uh, use a computer at all. So uh, I'll uh, illustrate uh, some examples uh, using the uh, barcode technology. Which company uh, merged uh, Hentai? Which company? Uh, um, which company, company bought the Hentai company? 
Is it audio? Audio? Um, maybe. Uh, well, anyway, uh, a very uh, a big major uh, snack company will uh, buy this 2D scanner, and then they will distribute uh, this scanner to to kids. So, who uh, are going to buy their snacks? And then uh, the kids can uh, add up their mileage if they um, uh, put this barcode on uh, a scanner on the barcode on the snack and then uh, they have to link it to the computer and then uh, the information will go directly to the company and then the company can can see um, who's using this barcode uh, so each barcode has a serial number and uh, who's using uh, who likes uh, what well, what, which snacks, and well, uh, uh, which snacks are very popular among uh, among the kids, and so on. But um, we can use this technology uh, for uh, pronunciation teaching. Uh, so, uh, for uh, for this lesson, uh, it's about it's is the. I used this material um, two years ago, uh, three years ago, uh, for the J, uh, EPSJ conference. And um, Japanese students have difficulty in pronouncing English F and V correctly. And um, they tend to produce the F sound as a who sound. So, So um, Japanese um, tend to pronounce the V sound as ban. So we can illustrate the Japanese pronunciation of uh, these English sounds, and also um, about the stress. It's my pronunciation. Yeah, stress on the first syllable, but uh, the next one is. Um, a Japanese pronunciation. Okay, and uh, the next um, next one is about intonation, about head intonation. I don't know why the microphone can't pick up the sound from the uh, speaker. But anyway, um, I just want to uh, illustrate how it works. And uh, But uh, the problem is this, one, one of the problems uh, this system has, has uh, now is that the 2D barcode is not 
uh, it's not so um, pretty. It's a bit. Um, it looks a bit boring, or so. so. <laughs> How would you say? Uh, it doesn't look beautiful. So uh, they are trying to make it very attractive. So even uh, you can hide lots of information. So the reader can't read uh, this information. But there is a small mark uh, uh, which says that there is. If you uh, put a scan on it, then you can listen to the sound. So uh, the barcode itself will be become more attractive and very um, very nice. And uh, another problem is that uh, they haven't yet made a, a barcode with an MP3 uh, player. But um, it's not a difficult technology. It's a matter of uh, idea. So uh, probably they'll uh, develop the computer with the MP3 player function uh, very shortly. And. Um, these days, the uh, uh, memory sticks are very, very cheap. So if you can pay just uh, 2,000 yen uh, for 4 gigabyte, then you can put a lot of information, a lot of uh, sound files in the, uh, in the memory. So you can uh, bring the sound files, uh, a lot of sound files, with you anywhere in the world. So I think it's a, a prom promising new technolo technology. The 2D barcode technology has been with us for, for some, some years. But uh, I don't think uh, people uh, uh, had the idea of using this technology for language teaching. So we are the, uh, the first ones uh, who are going to use this technology for language teaching. So that's all that I want to say today. Thank you for providing us with the latest information technology. Uh, my knowledge on IT seems to have been updated. So do you have any questions? If you do, uh, raise your hand. I think nowadays even a cell phone has been equipped with a scanner. Really? To, yeah, to the barcode. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Okay. Yeah. okay. Um, the barcode doesn't have to be 2D, to be honest. Mm -hmm. It's a job secret. But <laughs> uh, if you, uh, you can put a, a 1D barcode, yes. So um, anyway, the uh, barcode with a MP3 player or Anyway, uh, the uh, uh, mobile phone is very close to us. So, so uh, what is really important is that we need more content. So uh, you are content providers. So you can write your books and you can use this technology. Is there anyone who wants to ask a question? So I think well, we should can, keep when, watching. When can, we, okay. I mean, you know, when can we get this, I mean, commercial market, so that we can get it and use it freely? Uh, it freely? Yes, um, well, uh, for, for this barcode, it will be distrib distributed for free yeah, uh, for the kids. And um, for the uh, language learning uh, market, I don't know. Um, well, they may charge um, some money for the scanner. Or uh, we uh, people uh, sell their uh, books with a CD-ROM or a DVD-ROM, but um, they can sell the scanner with a book as a set. And if the scanner uh, uh, is distributed very widely, then uh, we don't have to worry about the scanner. So. Uh, what we need is to provide uh, contents, 
uh, with a barcode. Barcodes. Where do you think it will be made possible? Um, uh, probably in a few few months. Yes, because uh, I wrote some uh, books on English conversation, and these books will be the first uh, books uh, where the uh, this barcode technology is used. It will come out very soon. Yes. I hope it won't be too expensive for students to buy. I hope so. If it's too expensive, then uh, the technology is useless. So, but. Well, uh, as I told you, the memory uh, is getting cheaper, and the scanner itself is yeah, not right, so right. so uh, expensive. So if you uh, pay probably uh, just two thousand yen, mm. then it doesn't cost too much. Yes. So if you have a scanner, then you can uh, use a lot of uh, materials. Yes. So thank you very much. Let's give him a big hand.